I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Ninja Turtles 2014 movie Turtle Assault Van. That's right, the new line of action figures from Playmates Toys is already starting to hit shelves in preparation for the brand new Ninja Turtles feature film that will be hitting theaters later this summer. So today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the signature turtle van as it appears in the new movie. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the box that this comes in. As you can see, the packaging for this new movie line is actually really nicely done. It's bright and colorful with all sorts of shades of green on there, featuring that Ninja Turtles movie logo emblazoned right there across the top, with a great image of the new Turtle Assault Van vehicle with some of the new movie figures riding on it. It also shows you that it has a launching luge assault vehicle included with the set. Now flipping that box around to the back side, we get a look at some of the other included action features that we got there, and it also gives you a look at how the figures sit with the van itself. Now upon opening up the box, you will notice that there is some assembly required. You are going to have to put together the van, and there is an included sheet of instructions that will help guide you through the process. It really doesn't take too much work to get the van itself put together, but it's worth noting that there are nearly 40 stickers that need to be applied to the vehicle. A lot of the stickers make up the detail on this thing, so you're definitely going to want to make sure you take your time and get them on there straight. So younger kids might want to enlist the help of their parents in order to get all the stickers on. That's the longest part of putting the whole thing together, but once all is said and done, this is what we end up with. The new version of the famous turtle van, now called the Turtle Assault Van. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the van itself, and then we'll kind of run down all the cool little action features with this particular new vehicle. So the vehicle itself measures about 12 inches in length and about 7 inches tall. It's roughly about the same size as the current Shell Razor vehicle in the new Nick Turtles toy line. The whole van itself is done in this green plastic with some yellow plastic pieces added on kind of on the front or on the wheels there. So there's no actual painted detail. All of the additional detailing on this is done with stickers which you can see plastered all along the sides of the van there. It's got a really cool kind of turtle shell motif to it that the stickers make up, and actually it all looks pretty good. Even with the lack of paint detail, the stickers do work really well, and honestly the whole thing has a very vintage feel to it. It very much reminds me of the type of toys we had back in the 80s line. Now maybe that's a step back, or maybe as a longtime Turtles fan you'll think that's really cool. Personally, I think the van itself looks pretty neat. It's got a great look to it. You can see the front of it's got some of those yellow details like the yellow headlights kind of sitting up on top of the van there. You got a little ladder that's running up the front of the van. Great details on the front here. And up on the top we even have some cool little stuff like we've got a little cannon. You can raise the cannon up out of the top there. You can rotate it left and right and of course it's got a little red button on the top that will fire off a projectile missile because you can't have a vehicle like this without firing projectiles, right? We also have a little satellite dish on the top there, which has the ability to rotate forwards and backwards. There's also a cool little moon roof area. It's like a little bubble roof sitting up on the top of the van. And of course, that actually opens up. So that's our opening hatch that opens up so that we can see the back of the van there. There's actually a lot of places on this van that open up. So let me show you some of that. The front of the van folds open like so, which is how you're going to get your turtles on the inside of the van. You'll notice that there is some really nice detail on the inside as well, all done with those stickers. So there's lots of control panels, there's some nice little metal grating on the floor there, and there are two seats on the inside as well as a steering wheel. Now the seats there don't actually have like a place for the turtles to sit, they're more for show. Because in order to get the turtles in there, we're actually going to stand them up on the inside. They don't actually get in a sitting pose. But they fit pretty nicely in there. You can kind of squeeze your turtles in, you can lean them up against the seat rest there to make it look like they're sitting on the seats. And then just close up the front of that van nicely. We can get two turtles right there in the front. One in the driver's seat, one in the passenger seat. And it looks really nice when you got it all closed up like that. Another fun thing about the front of the vehicle, we've got this cool little tow winch here. There's a big red hook with a string attached and you can pull that out. That way you can attach to any other vehicles or anything like that. And there's a cool little red knob on there that you can just wind it back up. 
Moving over to the side of the van, we have another door that folds down that reveals the inside of the back of the van there. And then of course, flipping it around to the back side, we have two opening doors that also open up to the back of the van. So it's amazing to see how many different opening hatches we have on this one. That's actually a lot more than we usually see on the turtle van. So there are a lot of places to open it up, stick turtles inside of, have them hanging out of the top hatch. It's actually really cool. Now, the next action feature is on the inside of the back of the van there. One of the other items that this particular van comes with is the little luge vehicle. It's a little yellow vehicle there. It's got a black seat, black wheels. And what you can do is get any of your turtles to kind of sit on it there. We'll go ahead and stick Raphael on it and get him to grip onto the handles. There's a little peg on the back of it. So you can actually roll it on this little yellow ramp that's on the inside of the van and roll it back until it clicks into place. And once you get it clicked into place, you know, you can close up the van and now you've got your turtle ready to be blasted out if it's needed. So if you want to blast your turtle out with that luge, Open up those back doors. There's a little red knob on the inside of the back, on the inside here. And when you reach in and press it, it sends the ramp down and the luge comes skating out. The action feature works incredibly well. As you can see, I had to reach out and stop Raphael from rolling right off my table here. It's amazing. It launches it out perfectly. The little vehicle goes rolling across. It's a really fun action feature. Now it's really easy to put it right back too. The little ramp slides back in, it locks in place. We can then take our luge, we can clip it right back on the inside, ready to be blasted off again and again. Uh, the only problem that I kind of come across with it, and it might just be because my hands are a little big, but reaching in to hit that button, sometimes when the luge comes out, it hits my hand like it just did. Otherwise, the action feature works really well and it's incredibly fun. The only downside to that is it takes up the entire inside of the van back here, which means there's not a lot of room to really sit any other turtles. That kind of makes it so that there is one turtle short in the vehicle. If we put two turtles up on the front driving, one turtle back here on the little luge vehicle, where's the fourth turtle go? Unfortunately, he's either gonna have to kind of jam inside there with the luge vehicle, or you'll just have to open up the top hatch and you know have them hanging out of the top hatch there. Or there are also little handles on the back so you can have them hold onto those, or you know, just have to find a creative way to get them. Or you know, if kids are just playing with them anyway, whatever, we'll just stuff all the turtles on the inside and close it up and we're ready to roll. <laughs> As you can see, it also rolls very nicely. And overall, I think it's a really fun vehicle. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at the brand new Turtle Assault Van standing alongside several incarnations of the vehicle from past toy lines, including the vintage Turtle Van, the current Shell Razor vehicle, and even the Cowabunga Carl Van from the TMNT movie. The only major one I'm missing, unfortunately, is the Battle Shell from the 2003 series, but standing this alongside all those other ones, you can see how similar and how different it is from all the past incarnations. The size is about the same, and honestly, the design of this new van is sort of like a combination between the original Vintage Turtle van and the current Nick Turtles van. If you mash those together, you pretty much get this van right here. Overall, I really like this toy. I think the design looks really nice. It definitely fits in with the Ninja Turtles universe. It's got a lot of really great action features on it. Lots of playability with all the opening hatches, the blasting missile, the winch rope on the front, and the cool little luge vehicle that blasts out of the back. I think kids are gonna love this. And if you don't like it with the movie toys, it works really well with the Nick Turtles as well. You can pair the Nick Turtles up right with this. You could probably fit it with any of your vintage turtles. It's a really cool toy. And I think Ninja Turtles van fans would really love to pick up this new vehicle. So this is hitting store shelves with a brand new series of movie toys right now. So happy hunting my friends. And until next time. Oh, mm -hmm.